What's up, guys? It's me Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Edges Kavaiskis versus Mikhail Zuski, which will be a 10 rounder in the welterweight division. And this fight will be Saturday, September 12th, from the MGM Grand Conference Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this will be broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And again, the both fighters, the favorite, Edges Kavaiskis, has a record of 21 and 1 with one draw and 17 wins by knockout. He's most known for fighting Terence Crawford in December of 2019, where he did hurt Crawford, in my opinion, which it could have been scored a knockdown in the third round of that fight. He looked very good early on against Crawford. Looked like he could have possibly won the fight, but he got tired as it went on. And since Crawford just was more experienced and fought way better guys than um, Cavieskis, he was just able to pick Cavieskis apart, getting the eighth round stoppage, knocking him out with a huge uppercut and then stop him standing. But um, the Mean Machine, um, Edgidas Cavaiscus, also has a draw to Ray Robinson, a uh, majority draw to be specific, and he's possibly um, coming off uh, probably his best win over Roberto Ariza, and he also has a very good win over David Avanesan, if I'm saying that correctly, my bad. Because currently, Avanesan is ranked number 11 in the world, um, the Mean Machine is ranked number 17, and throughout this video, I'm just going to start calling Kaveyeskis the Mean Machine because that's his nickname, and his name is pretty long. So, um, the Mean Machine also, as I said before, has a win versus Roberto Ariza, who was 19-0 going into that fight as well. Um, he's only got, in my opinion, two good wins on his resume, as I said before. Not a stellar resume, in my opinion, as I said before. He's ranked number 17 by box rank. That's not a bad rating, being that he is in the welterweight division, which is debated as the best division in the world since they have the likes of Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao, if you want to add Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, and Danny Garcia. But his opponent, Mikhail Zuski, has a record of 34-1 and one with 23 knockouts. That's an excellent record, I have to say. He's fighting out of Canada. I mean, when I looked at his picture and I saw some of his fights, I gotta be honest, he doesn't look like he's in his 30s, to be honest. He looks like he's 12 years old, but um, that's my opinion. But um, he's only got two decent fights on his record. I mean, he's coming up probably his best win against Alejandro Davia, who was undefeated in that fight at 17-0, and and he won by TKO. And his only loss is to Konstantin Pomaziev. Sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly again. Um, and he's ranked number 35 by box rack. But the other guys he fought had records of like 35 and 9, 17 and uh, 5, like records like that. They're not terrible records, but they're just not top tier, you know? But um, this fight, I'm not really too excited for it, as again, these are two guys who are sort of mid tier, I guess, C, B level, B or C level, as I said before, in the welterweight division. Um, I don't really see any of them beating any of the champions or top guys, as I said before, like Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. But um, they could definitely give him a good fight, as uh, Mean Machine did give a very good fight um, against uh, Terrence Crawford. But um, I'm actually predicting Cavaiskis to win probably by decision, or maybe get a knockout, who knows. He does have very good power, but I'm not sure how his gas tank will help him out, as the Crawford fight, it really didn't. But um, he, the Mean Machine is not a bad guy. He's got a good jab, very powerful hands. But Zuski, as I said before, I haven't really seen any of his fights. I only saw a couple. He doesn't look too stellar, even though his record is excellent. He just fought uh, unknown opponents in Canada. And that's why I'm predicting probably Kavieskis by late stoppage or a uh, clear unanimous decision. But also on this card, um, Miguel Mariaga is fighting against Joe Gonzalez, that's a decent fight, but um, in a couple of weeks, it's going to be some really good fights, the Charlo brothers are headlining that card, Mario Barrios is fighting on that card, Figueroa, Daniel Ramon, it's a very stacked card, and also uh, Josh Taylor is defending his titles against Kong Song, if I'm saying that correctly, my bad, so this month does have some very good boxing, and this is a great start, even though it's the 12th, and I believe this is one of the first um, cards of this month. So, as I said before, predicting Cavaiscus to get a unanimous decision win or late stoppage, possibly corner stoppage, since um, Cavaiscus does have very good pressure fighting and very good power. So I do see Cavaiscus pressuring Zuski all night, and as I said before, getting a clear decision win or a late stoppage. 
And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm going to be boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.